how you want to feed your fire slowly. You just don't want to smother it out. Of course, I have one of these cotton pads I can just throw on top of here now just to get some you know, flame going on. Throw some of this other wood in here. Now, as you can see, or hopefully you can see, uh, it's starting to smolder and burn uh, somewhat. Uh, very slow. Of course, it's pretty windy out. So, uh, I'm feeding the fire with in, uh, fuel. It's got good oxygen going. It's starting to burn. That's what you want to get going. So you want to have all this stuff set up at your fireplace wherever you're building it, ready to go. Because once you get it going, you don't want to have to get up and go get some other stuff. So you want to start off with, like your, uh, again, these cotton balls are very, uh, I mean, key, you know, and, um, Getting the fire going now. Cotton balls are key. Cotton. And there's a lot of other stuff. Dryer lint. Um, but not. But those are only used when you can't get the fire going. So, in, what, in other words, if I can come out and I can find a nice bundle of, of tinder that I can start getting something going with, then that's what I'll do. And then I won't need a cotton. But I got it set up, ready to roll. Because you don't want to use all your resources. You know, I only have five cotton balls. Okay, not counting the stuff that's in the in the handle. And what I'm talking about specifically is, and my, and my whole point is that uh, you get out there and the ground is wet. I just showed you right there, striking the hell out of that uh, strike force, sparking the. I don't. I don't know how hot that is, but. Trust me, it's hot. And uh, you're striking the hell out of it. You can't even get a spark. Oh, you got the sparks off the strike force, but you know, on the you can't get even a you know a little uh, uh, a burning going on. So uh, something to blow on to get a fire going. So all that being said, your uh, what you carry in your kit is pretty important. Again, a knife, some kind of fire starting device. And again, redundancy in those uh, in those uh, in the kit because if my lighter fails, I got the strike force. If strike force fails, not fail to spark, but if I can't get the dry tender going, I have other backups in the handle of it. Like I said, the wet fire cube or the yeah you know, the wet fire cube or the uh, cotton balls that I've stuck in there as well. But uh, my point of, of the whole thing is here, I'm working on my skill as well as um, getting rid of all this debris. But, uh, you know, a lot of people sit on the couch, sit watching TV, sit watching YouTube all day. And, uh, you know, why not take a break, come out and work on some of the stuff you, you're watching. So, you know. So it looks like the fire's going now. Again, you don't want to smother your fire. It needs oxygen. So you just slowly start dropping some stuff on there. Get it going. Start filling it up. that build and uh, again we've accomplished the mission per se the, the main thing here again is having all your tinder your uh, kindling and whatnot ready to go once you get that spark burning you keep building 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 till you start putting on heavier material and uh, once you get it burning then you can go out 
and of course don't venture far but uh, you can go out and gather up some more wood for the night <clears throat> or for however long you think you're going to be there but the main thing is you keep that fire going the whole time it also depending on what area you're in it will uh, help uh, you know keep animals away as well as the big thing you want to think about yeah of course you can get eaten by a grizzly or something of that nature that's bad but <clears throat> think about mosquitoes and other things like that so you're in the fire it will help repel the uh, mosquitoes and other bugs and whatnot and uh, now if you have a shelter shelter built you're nice and warm you're hopefully nice and dry now the big thing there too is if it starts raining um, you gotta have your wood so you gotta have your fuel keep it dry so that's some other things to think about you just want to be careful you don't smell it out but it's going pretty good now my wife's calling me for lunch I'm gonna come out here yelling at me. Get in there to eat. So anyway, YouTube, um, it's a little backyard survival, if you will. Get a fire going. I guess, like I said, I gotta burn this stuff anyway. Why not try out some of the uh, uh, that I've got to survive? This uh, summer, I'm definitely gonna I'll be out here with a bow drill, working on getting a fire going. So. Again, I'm not no master fire maker. Oh, we're getting ate up by the smoke. I'm not no master fire maker. As you can see. Uh, anyway, take care. And uh, God bless. See you on the next video.